Over the past few years, issues of mental health, policing, and social justice have been thrust into the spotlight, and with them, questions about how best to respond to those grappling with behavioral health issues. And now emergency responders in Shaker Heights are teaming up with the hospital system in a brand new program aimed at making a difference for those who need it. Isabel Lawrence has this story. Numbers you hope you never have to dial, but when you do, it's police, fire, and EMS who answer the call. 911, where's your emergency? Now in Shaker Heights, there's a new first responder. Here I am building the program. Annette Amistati is a social worker embedded in the Shaker Heights Police and Fire Departments, tasked with responding to a very specific kind of call. Mental health is, it's not cookie cutter. It can affect everybody so differently in so many ways. As police and fire departments across the country grapple with how to respond to mental health calls, the departments in Shaker Heights have teamed up with the Metro Health System, launching a pilot mental health response program. At the center of it all is Amistadi. She typically works with Metro Health Recovery Resources. Now she rides with first responders to mental health calls. The different calls that I'm seeing could be somebody who maybe had suicidal ideations or somebody who's maybe going through depression and anxiety and had an anxiety attack, um, maybe for the first time, and that's really scary. Also scary is what can happen to individuals going through a mental health crisis without access to the support they need. Metro Health's Dr. Julia Bruner says without the appropriate intervention and response, bad outcomes could range from homelessness, incarceration, even death. In those scenarios where people are at risk and at high risk, I hope to see that the outcomes in relation to suicide and in relation to overall deaths go down. It's a goal shared by Shaker Heights Police Chief Jeff DeMuth. Mental health calls are increasing. When the onset of the pandemic occurred, that just exacerbated the situation. And while the calls keep coming in, the necessary training isn't always keeping up. Officers are trained to be police officers. They're not trained to be social workers. Um, they get just a very um, basic amount of training in regards to responding to mental health type calls. Fire Chief Patrick Sweeney says the same goes for firefighters and EMS. What we're finding is throughout our careers, we may not have really been delivering the best service to them that we would like to. Now they're hoping this program helps make a difference and sets a precedent for other communities. We're getting um, you know, individuals that are reaching out to us from different parts of the state and the nation that are watching this. Watching what happens when you pair someone with clinical expertise with the men and women who are first on the scene, all working together to make a change. Maybe I found one thing that was able to make a difference. One conversation or connection at a time. In Shaker Heights, Isabel Lawrence, 3 News.